Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here and welcome back to the third and final part of Destroy All Humans, the 100% Achievement and Trophy Guide. So in the last two videos we would have gotten everything in, uh, possible in the main game, so this is for completing every single challenge with all three stars. Now what I'll be doing is giving little hints and tips on how to beat each challenge, especially those in the later levels, but the first six are generous and rather easy once you know what you're doing with them. Now all the individual challenges are timestamped in the comments section below so you can find it easier if you get stuck. But as we begin our first abduction, pay attention to what it wants you to grab. Sadly it's not always a pick up and throw, pox requires certain items and in this case it's just cows. So as you're going along always be sure to keep looking around and have a double check if you think you miss one and then just psychokinesis it up. So obviously just try your best just to not pick up random crap as we don't need it. This one, as you know what you're doing, it's always the same sort of locations all the time. So nothing's too random, so you can just um, bash it out if you uh, get stuck a couple of times. Also note you will unlock two achievements right here, the first one being down to the challenge, that's for basically revisiting a completed mission area and doing your first challenge, and then completing your first abduction with uh, three stars. Nice and cheesy so far, lad. As for the races, they are pretty much exactly the same every single time, so all you'll be doing is following this probe. Um, but it's very highly important to have your dash completely fully upgraded so you can continue to hold the B button and that will sort of basically put you on like this skateboard sort of thing. Now if you're having trouble sort of steering and everything while jumping, put your index finger on the B button to continue to uh, skate along all the time and then you can use the thumb, use your thumb to um, jump up on the jetpack. That just makes it a whole lot easier and especially will make it a lot easier for the later races. As for these little bits of DNA they spit out, it's basically the more points you get, it's the faster you are able to collect and the more in the middle of these bits of DNA that you can collect them. So, quick them, so collect them as quickly as you can, stay in the middle of them, that will basically get you the more points to be able to get all three stars. And again you'll unlock another achievement for, um, for doing all the three stars at the end of this. Only one minute remaining. Get to it. Alien Eight tracks. Come quick. There's a jab. That was close. What caused the drones to go haywire anyway? You wouldn't know anything about the random activation of the self-destruct codes, would you? So welcome then to your first Armageddon. Now personally I found these to be the easiest. So what we have to do is go, there are yellow markers on your minimap. They are what we've actually got to go to to be able to get more, um, the more points and the more money. So as soon as you see a marked one, pick it up, drain it using the Y button. Note that uh, rocket launchers and everything can actually explode it in later levels. But of course we'll worry about that when we come to it. 
Um, or no, of course, so it's always worth destroying these uh, SAM missiles and everything if you're not being able to get the marked cars and being able to drain them properly to be able to get the points. So that's all there is to it then. So literally just as soon as you see a marked target on your map, just go straight to it, mash the white button to drain it quickly. That will get you the most points. And honestly, that's all there is to it. Again, in later levels, we will be um, blowing up buildings and everything just to get a little bit more. But for now, this is all there is to it. Only one minute remaining. Get to it. So then, welcome to our first rampage. Now, this is extremely important as to what it wants you to do. So as you can see, you can either drown the farmers or you can smash them with PK. Basically, that will get you double the points. So instead of... So if you were just a straight-up mass murder everyone with guns, you would get one kill, one point. But if you do what it asks you to do, you actually get double that, enabling you to be able to complete the challenge a lot easier. This will come in handy extremely, especially later on. But again, like I said, for now, you could literally probably just mass murder everyone, gun them all down to death. But what I'm going to be doing is basically just showing you how to get everything pretty much perfect so pick him up with pk drown him in the lake and that will get us a crap ton of points cheesy muck easy mcdonald face or something like that tissue reacts on impact, but further research is needed. <laughs> so 
So on to Abduction 2, Rockwell Requisition, and again, pay attention to what it wants you to do, so we need to kill humans before we throw them up. That is just for more points. Again, this will just make it easier, getting us double D points. So again, follow the path I do. Keep checking out where all the humans are so you're able to just kill them. Otherwise, again, this is generally quite another easy one. May take you one or two attempts. So as I said, nothing too different then for the second race, Rockwell Rush, just make sure to put your index finger on the B button and hover your thumb above the A button, the jetpack, it will just make this a whole lot easier so you're able to control the camera a lot better. But again, like I said, try and get the DNA things he spits out quickly and try and make sure you're sort of in the middle, that's just for more points. So then, this is the second Armageddon. Like I said, obviously, only mainly focus on the marked vehicles, on the marked targets. Forget about everything else. But if you're finding yourself um, not sort of draining the vehicle for a few seconds, make sure to destroy a house or two just to get your points up a little bit in the process. Otherwise, just keep focusing on those main targets.
And for the final rampage of this area then, this is a nice fun one. Not so much for vegans. Any any vegans playing this are not going to be ha too happy with this. Because you get more points for exploding cows, uh, zapping cows with electricity, or uh, just straight up <laughs> firing, exploding them. So basically all the cows are going to go to this marked weird dancing cow area. It's a good job by Pox. Don't know what the hell that is. But anyway, the cows come. Just make sure your Zappomatic is all fully loaded, ready to go. Zap them all. But of course, enemies will come and try and kill you. So be aware of that. Get sort of used to dodging midair so you can dodge a bit of uh, uh, <laughs> people firing at you when it comes that way. And there's always the chance that if there are too many cows, you can always just use your ion detonator to explode a bunch. But this thing will move, by the way, so always keep your eyes out on that. Otherwise, this is extremely simple. Space creature! Okay then, so for Abduction 3, I highly recommend completely upgrading your Psychokinesis. That will allow us to actually um, be able to pick up vehicles. And as you'll see, once you do, it'll take just a few seconds to get him up. But what you need to do basically for this one is just follow the exact same path I do. Again, make sure your Psychokinesis is fully, fully upgraded. Always be on the lookout for vehicles. Don't actually follow the abduction beam because it just goes through gardens and it won't give you enough points to finish the mission. So some of these uh, vehicles can be random sort of driving around, but the ones that are parked will always be there. So just c consistently be on the lookout and then we're going to basically end up on the beach with a whole load of items we can use to just throw that in. But very importantly, just follow the path that I'm doing right now. Collect as many vehicles as you possibly can and you should be golden nuggets. But also, just another quick note for the items on the beach. If you, uh, you can again make it a little bit easier for yourself by changing the camera sensitivity to around 65. That will actually make it just a little bit quicker, thus making it a lot easier to pick up the small items and fly them in a lot quicker again, getting you more points. That's just if you need it. Creatures! 
to burn! Good work, Crypto! This is race three. Perhaps you'd like to collect all the DNA and get three stars. So for our third Armageddon then, seeing as we are in Santa Modesta, we'll be destroying a lot more buildings to get more points. So what I would do is completely screw your death ray. It's a it's a piece of crap for something called a death ray, to be honest. But get your sonic boom ready, because what we'll be doing on our way to get in uh, vehicle mark targets, we'll obviously be destroying a lot of these buildings, because of course it can some of these vehicles can be the other end of the map, so obviously we need to keep these points going up. So the bigger buildings, destroy as many of the bigger buildings as you can with the sonic um, boom. But while you're doing that, more marked targets will appear on the map, so you can just literally fly there, drain them, and it'll just be good for you.
Shit! You have You're running out of time! They want to destroy our way of The Santa Modestins are one step closer to pod people. And if you've been a little bit stressed with everything in Santa Modesta so far, this rampage will just get all that goddamn testosterone out of you. Because this is a nice, easy, fun one. Um, all we're doing is killing the Majestic Agents with um, explosions. So explosive barrels right here. Again, like I said, make sure, you know, get more points. Sort of make sure to get uh, a couple of Majestic Agents and officers and things. Uh, sort of in a group so you can get a bit more otherwise you can just or you can, of course you can just keep using your ion detonator And if you run out of ammo transmog using the X button on certain items like bins and things like that Right then, okay guys, not gonna lie to you right now, this one caused me the biggest problems and is the biggest son of a bitch in the world. So forget about the planes and everything, um, apart from this first one, but what we're gonna be doing is just grabbing literally every small, tiny little thing we can. Barrels, woods, crates, every little thing that we can throw into the abduction uh, beam, we can. We're going to be doing it, but you've got to be quick. So I highly recommend, again, turning your camera sensitivity up to 65, throw soldiers in there as well. I do recommend that you just tap the PK button twice as the tractor beam hits an area. Basically that brings items to you and lets them go really quickly. So instead of grabbing one and then going up, basically tap it twice as the beam hits an area and then that again makes it a little bit easier. But again, like I said, there's loads of ammo, uh, loads of ammo boxes, loads of barrels, loads of soldiers, so just literally make sure to be picking up everything that you possibly can. So just another little note, um, there is a tank around the corner here for me, sometimes it might not be there for you, uh, the same with the uh, army trucks and things. 
so be aware of that, um, just in case. But basically, as you get rid of these soldiers here, I don't actually show it in this video, but there's soldiers shooting at you from over there. If you go behind this wall here, rather than following the abductor beam where I do, there is another bunch of barrels and ammos. Uh, which you can get a lot more points in a lot quicker. So, rather than following the abductor beam here, go go to the wall to the left where the soldiers are shooting at you, and there is a lot more uh, things to throw in there. So, that's again, just in case you are struggling and you're struggling of things to find, because again, sometimes this level can be a little bit random in terms of soldiers, in terms of uh, tanks and trucks and everything shooting at you. But, you know, again, this can be a little bit frustrating, but hopefully... Little tips that I've said hopefully can help and can actually make a big difference. So again, there might be a soldier there for you or not, but just try and pick up all the sort of big things that you can. There are another bunch of um, barrels and everything on the side. Again, another important thing, don't give up. Even if it looks like you might not even get there, just don't give up until the very, very end. Because um, you literally could get it with like a second left, but again, just keep trying to pick up absolutely everything that you can uh, These big bits are a bit of a pain in the ass But if you haven't trouble just throw in soldiers now screw the barrels and everything screw, uh, just throw in soldiers and oof, Yes, so that is a completely tricky one. I won't lie to you again If you prefer you can obviously go to the left hand side of the airport there and uh, throw in the planes if you want, if that makes it a little bit easier. But hopefully these little, again, these little hints and tips I've said make that one a little bit easier. Oh, what a pain in the dick snatch that was. Stupid thing. Anyway, we're on to race four now, the Desert Dash. Again, it's exactly the same as the last uh, th three races. Index finger on B button. Thumb hovering over the A button for the jetpack so you can control it easier. Sp Speed and awareness per a plenty. Good work, Kato. Excellent work, Crypto. Perspiring soon. All security data on board the mothership was wiped, and it John wasn't me. So then, for Devot, uh, De Devot, Desert Devastation, the fourth Armageddon, it's, um... As this area is a little bit small, we actually can't just go to the targets and pick them up. We actually need to get rid of some of the guns and turrets first. So the first one is basically going to be straight in front of us. So if you just follow the exact same path I take, just destroy all the same guns that I do and these Tesla coils and everything, um, then you should have no problem sucking up the marked cars and getting the three stars. But just make sure to destroy all the guns and turrets first.
running out of time! This rampage can cause a few problems, some people do them first or second time, uh, for others it takes 10 to 20, but the biggest, biggest tip that I can give on this is use your uh, Zap-O-Matic or your Disintegrator Ray and basically get the tank down to about a quarter health, switch to your Ion Detonator, destroy the tank, that is the best way to destroy this rather than throwing a couple of explosive barrels at it of course it will depend on where the tanks appear on the map for you um later on though ammo should appear but as you're going um past small little items like i said bins etc and lampposts make sure to press uh, press the x button to transmog them to get ammo for your ion detonator a little bit later on but that is definitely definitely the best way so, Disintegrate Array or zap -a it until it gets to a little bit. Ignore the soldiers, focus solely on the tanks. If you do need health, of course, just try and hide for just a little bit um, while you're still shooting and destroying the tanks. Another quick tip I can give you, if you are running out of Ion Detonator, but you are sort of close to the three stars, just ignore that and just fully explode everything with any gun that you possibly can. So don't worry about, um, you know, getting the double points, just completely straight up with whatever you can, destroy it with whatever gun and whatever ammo you can. Right, it, it basically then saves you having to go, oh crap, oh shit, I don't know, <laughs> I can't get the double points because I haven't got any explosives or anything. But that should be fine. As long as you can still absolutely destroy him with any gun that you can, you should be <laughs> absolutely sorted. But we are on now to Abduction 5. Again, this one can potentially be quite tricky, purely because of the randomness of where the uh, workers are and how many there are. But, but they start running away, so what you'll have to do is just keep... Uh, basically, run away and disappear. So all you have to do is just keep your eye on them. So sort of where they go, make sure they, they don't get towards uh, uh, towards or around any corners. But all we're doing is just abducting these town workers. There are another couple of workers on the left-hand side behind this wall. So this is another one. Again, ignore the Sam gun. That'll try and kill you there. Screw that guy. Otherwise, just keep doing... Again, the sensitivity might be... The best thing for you to do 
um, to put it up to 65 so it's a little bit quicker the camera for you so you don't miss out on any workers knock it off <laughs> So again, this is the fifth race. Again, this is one that could potentially be quite tricky, but basically the best tip that I can give you for this, again, like I said, other than putting your index finger on the B button, etc., as I've already explained a few times, there's basically going to be a piece of DNA that's going to be on top of a telephone box. Now, instead of jumping up to that, literally just skate past it, you will still collect it, but you will actually get more points because you collected it a little bit quicker. And that might just be the biggest tip that I can give you, and the biggest um, sort of difference between two starring and three starring this. So the box is just around the corner. Skate past this. Do not jump on it. And that is what we that is what actually got me the three stars. So yep. Yeah, definitely the best thing that I can uh basically the best tip that I can give you there. Hamsters from space. Make tracks! Space space invaders. Excellent work, crypto! Armageddon 5 then, Union Tower Termination. So, as we begin, like I said, there's nothing that's too different. We're just going to destroy the guns. And the first one is basically on our left. Just, just to our left a little bit. You'll see it just on the grass. Might be a little bit sneaky, but it is there. Um, and then we can use our fully upgraded quantum deconstructor to basically get rid of these big buildings when you're using this make sure to only focus on those that have big bit uh, like two or three buildings sort of in one that will get you more points obviously getting you the better results and the three stars again otherwise what we're doing is any of the guns that we see destroy them and then suck up the marked targets while we are of course destroying other buildings
situation. is in chaos. Whatever would the warlords do about that? Right, so for Rampage 5, Union Town Turmoil, you can either kill these workers with PK or destroy them with an ion detonator. Now, the biggest tip that I can give, I've seen other videos where they were sort of skating around the outside of these areas looking for workers. That didn't seem to work for me. Uh, so you can... What I would do is stay in this area, and then from here, where this gun is, just go straight into like another sort of workers area like this. There would be another bunch of workers right there, and then what you need to do is just keep going back and forth between the two areas, as these workers will always spawn. Rather than, like I said, wandering around town, maybe only seeing one or two every sort of bloody three or four seconds. Literally in this area, and the area straight in front of us right now. Just through that little archway. That is where another bunch of workers will spawn. And as I said, we'll go back to the other area. Another bunch will spawn. It just makes this mission 16,018.3 times easier. Officers covering their tracks as we speak. Sterling results, Crypto. Right, so Capital City. These are the trickiest ones in the game, I will not lie. But what we need to do, get your Zappomatic ready. Make sure it's fully upgraded because we need to be throwing dead Majestic Agents into the beam. Now, what we need to do is focus solely on these Majestic Agents but also dodging in the air as to avoid uh, quite a lot of the gunfire. Um, but this is, th that is literally it. As the beam will just consistently go around, we just need to focus solely on killing the Majestic Agents and then uh, throw them in, throwing them into the beam. Now, I actually get this with literally one second remaining. So even if it looks like you're not going to get it, um, you can either just toss a bunch of alive Majestic Agents in, saves you sort of, saves you a second or two, or you can literally just keep going, as I said, but it, 
It might, again, this one may take a few attempts, but just get used to dodging in the air and make sure, the first couple of minutes anyway, to kill the Majestic Agents before throwing them in. So for one, you'll see me unlock the achievement here for completing all the challenges. Of course, you won't get that unless hopefully for you guys, you get a good glitch coming your way. That would always be nice, wouldn't it? But we are coming up to the sixth and final race uh, in Capital City. Now, this has caused a lot of people a lot of problems, but I can give you some big tips right now. And the first one is... If you're having trouble with the index finger on the B button, etc, it's definitely worth actually remapping your controller and assigning the B button to the left trigger in the settings. That actually makes it a crap ton easier. So if you are having trouble, definitely do that. But this is where I believe it is won and lost. So as we begin here, this bit is just easy enough. Sometimes there may be cars that the probe actually flies into, could put you off a little bit. But it's actually going around this um, pillar right here. You've got to do it as literally as quick as you can. If you sort of dawdle there for literally a second too long, I believe that is the... Um, difference, the big difference anyway, in getting your two and three stars. A lot of people, including myself, got two stars on this, literally just coming up short. But I believe the quicker that you collect them around the big massive pillar, the um, better you uh, your points will obviously be. Because, of course, it is all about speed and as close to the middle of these DNA uh, possible that you can. Otherwise, for now, we are just following it as normal. Line. Pick on a plan of your own. Excellent work, Crypto. Magic! No! Good work, Crypto! Surely we Perfect! Somebody Space invaders! Perfect! The greatest city on Earth. Ha! And about the drone self-destruct mechanism. I can neither prove nor disprove what's occurred, but expect another write-up in your ever-expanding file. 
But the main thing for this one is just never give up. Never give up because you will get that perfect run. So don't think that the game's against you or anything. You will get it there. So just... If you're pissed off, go take a break. Go, I don't know, take a poop or something. Let all the anger out of your ass and then come back. And you will normally find that it's normally quite a bit better as well. And... Honestly, I thought this was the bloody easiest Armageddon in the game, so after all the stress of the rest of them, this I found was the easiest in the game. Uh, probably because there's more buildings that we can explode with our quantum deconstructors and sonic booms, but I got this one first try, and you really should too. It's generally quite a lovely one. And for our final rampage, again, this can be quite a tricky one, but what it's telling you to do basically to get the three stars is to either use your anal probe or your brain extract. Now, if you are having trouble with the anal probe, what you can do is just use your brain extract, fully upgraded, completely fully upgraded, of course, then keep tapping the uh, X button or the square button on PlayStation to make it go faster. Now, if you tried to leave some guys who are green, that will basically help it spread. And what that'll do is make the challenge 10 times easier. They will kill the other guys um, basically for you and job done. Now, I actually tried doing it myself. Uh, make sure obviously to kill this bloody gun right here. But for some reason it just was didn't seem to be working for me. So I literally just did both. So with the anal probe, again, make sure it's completely fully upgraded. So you've got two. And then literally hold the egg. Hold on the left trigger to target, and then literally just tap the right trigger button once. That's all you need. No mashing, nothing like that. It's literally just hold on to a uh, hold on to a target, lock down to a target, press the right trigger button once. That lane will pro. While that's happening, try and brain extract another guy. So it is quite um, hectic. It can be very hectic, but that is definitely the best way I did it. Rather than trying to anal probe everyone and dodging everyone. Completely ignore the soldiers if you can as well, but it's literally anal probe two people and then while in the middle of that, while you're waiting for your anal probe to recharge, brain extract other guys. Of course, this will all spread to other guys as well, which can help kill other majestic agents. 
Um, and it does work for the mutants as well. It's just not the soldiers that it works for. Um, again, if you uh, also if you are finding yourself in quite a big crowd and you're sort of uh, having a bit of trouble getting out of it, just use your ion detonator just to kill a, a good bunch of them because that always helps as well. Getting And again, if you're getting close to the three stars, literally, if there's a big bunch of them, literally use your ion detonator to just completely disintegrate them. That will actually help jump it up quite a lot, rather than, again, messing around just in case you miss it. I actually missed out on that twice by pissing around instead of just killing five or six guys that were there. But that should be that then. So now you should have a lovely 1,000 out of 1,000 or platinum for Destroy All Humans. You know, hopefully this and the other videos have helped, and of course, if so, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on all my socials, I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon, links are provided below. Again, another big massive shout out to TimG84 for the continued support on Patreon, that is much appreciated still, and thank you guys and gals again for watching, but I'll see you guys and gals in the next one, big love.